kick it. I guess I started cutting stencils when I was 16 and I was doing a lot of graffiti and stencils were very frowned upon at that point. It was very like, okay, you have to paint this way and there was a kind of like a, a rule book that was passed down to you and I don't, at a certain point I just kind of grew out of needing to do graffiti. It, it didn't really satisfy an emotional need yeah. that, that creating and, and making things does. <laughs> I'm pretty used to painting in places like this. In Melbourne there's quite a lot of um, old buildings and um, artists often paint in them and we had lots of exhibitions in unusual spaces there as well. So yeah, for me it's not that unusual. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I think all good art should make people think and or at least feel something. Yeah, as long as people feel something when they look at it or respond in some way, then I think it's working. <laughs>